everybody. Welcome to our last not so messy craft. I'm really excited about this one because Ellie and I both love dolls. And when I was a kid, we used to play with paper dolls with my grandma. And I remember getting American Girl magazines, you know, the American Girl dolls, and they had paper dolls in them also. So even though this is an old activity uh, from the late 1800s, early 1900s, it's kind of stuck around and I think we should bring it back. So, uh, since the coloring and everything would take, took us quite a while, right, Ellie? Um, we cut everything out, colored everything, and we're just going to give you the highlights. So, the first thing we did was color, right? So, Ellie and I uh, colored all of the papers. There are three different papers for you to print off. And, Ellie, do you want to show the boy clothes and I'll show the girl clothes? Or do you want to do the girl clothes? Wait a minute. Okay, so we have our boy and our girl uh, that we cut out. Now there's a little piece of cardboard on the side of where the boy and girl are. And then when you cut a little slit in both pieces, you can have them standing up. So there should be four sides. And as you can see, it looks like a Cheerios box on the back. Because what we did is after we colored, we took glue to the whole sheet and stuck it on a Cheerios box and we waited it for it to dry and then cut it out. That makes everything a little bit more sturdy. And we have the girls clothes. I'll bring these a little bit closer so you can see what we did. Okay, do you wanna show off the other two? These two? No, mama do it? Okay, so we got that one. Ooh, Ellie's gonna do that one. Careful. What's that? A little nightgown, right? And then we also did what to go with them, Ellie? Some little hats, right? Yeah. Okay. And then we have the boy clothes. Can you show the boy pajamas? And the boy pajamas also have a little nightcap. That's, I, I think of uh, the night before Christmas with that. Mama in her kerchief and I in my cap. I've just settled down. Yep. For a long winter's nap. There you go. Okay. So you can color those however you want and make sure that you reinforce them. Um, as far as the cutting is concerned, if you're a bigger kid, you can totally cut them out yourself. However, I would say for the hats, I would get a grown up because I needed to poke a little hole with a knife and then I could use my scissors to widen the hole for the hats. There's a tiny little uh, like dotted line there uh, for you to use. And make sure when you're cutting to not cut off the tabs because that is how you are going to dress your doll. So, Ellie, you can pick out what outfit are we going to put on the girl doll today. All right. So we've got a lovely pink dress. And you just put it right on her. And then we fold the tabs. And then they'll stay on her. Okay. All right. There we go. All right. We'll put that on her and you may have to kind of play with these to make them stay on uh, and if you want to do a hat like this I mean, go ahead. it just goes through the little hole that we made there we go. Yeah. and she is dressed lovely and what should we put on our boy today oopsie that one for the boy. That one for the boy. We'll put on his suit. Okay. And there's a few more tabs for him. Down at the bottom. Those two. There we go. Sometimes you have to play a little bit just to make sure everything stays up. And there they are, all ready to go to church, maybe. You want to put a hat on him too? Okay. Looking very sharp. So we hope you have fun dressing and undressing your paper dolls for today's craft. And have fun making your not so messy craft. Bye.